guys welcome back to the vlog welcome back to another week in my life i'm so happy because the sun is shining today if you live in florida over this past weekend which was i don't know, I don't know the 16th through the 17th um it literally rained all weekend completely ruined the weekend vibe but finally today the sun is shining and i feel i feel back to normal again with my mental health um, but anyway, today is President's Day, and I am off today, which I love. Um, Seth is also off today, which is lovely, and we have a guest in town. Seth's friend from college is here. He's been here over the weekend, and um, I think he may, I think he leaves tomorrow. I don't remember. I don't quite remember, but anyway, this morning I'm headed to a yoga class. I am doing a yoga power a power yoga class this morning I usually do a sculpt and flow which is like 20 minutes of a yoga flow and then we get into three like circuits and then we have like a 10 minute cool down and do um, a vinyasa and that's really nice so I think I might have taken one of these classes before but the girl that I'm taking it with today um, she like stepped in for a Saturday class one time and she absolutely kicked my butt so I'm excited to see what this morning is going to hold excited and scared so um, we're gonna do that but I have no coffee at home I just ordered Nespresso pods I think probably yesterday so there's no way they're coming today and I didn't have time to like make a pot of coffee it's like nine o'clock in the morning um, right now and I just didn't get up in time I one thing you should know about me is I will be sleeping in on my mornings off. And sleeping in for me is not like 7 a.m. That's the time that I get up every day. Sleeping in for me is like 9, 9.30. Um, I have recently just been able to sleep in that late again in my life. For one point in time, I was not able to sleep in past 8.30. And now I'm getting to like the 9, 9.30 and it feels so good. But anyway, because I've had no caffeine this morning, I think we're gonna stop by Sprouts and just pick up a little energy drink, <laughs> which is not something that I ever do. I wanna get coffee afterwards, so I'm like kind of contemplating, should I do this, should I not? Um, and the answer is probably that I should not. But I like wanna be mm, for the class, you know what I mean? And I feel like I'm not gonna be like that unless I have a little bit of caffeine in my veins, so. We shall see, but good morning. Welcome to another week in my life. Um, yeah, happy you guys are here. All right, I've got a Celsius. Whenever I get a Celsius, I get the peach vibe one. Wow, I have truly not had one of those in so long i'm not gonna drink that much of it otherwise i'm gonna feel terrible like just anxiety wise energy drinks make me anxious i also grabbed this no cow protein bar i am not hungry this morning but if i don't eat um i might pass out in my class okay just an update this is really gross do not get it <laughs> tastes like literal protein okay i got I just ran to a little local coffee shop that I've never been to. It's not super close to me. It's probably like 15 minutes away. So unless this is uh, like a 12 out of 10, I'm probably not gonna be back. <laughs> but um, it's called the Bean Bar Co. If any of you guys live in New Tampa and I got an oat milk latte with one pump of pistachio. I love pistachio flavoring. Not bad. The pistachio flavoring is, hmm, it's just like a little, it's, ugh, <laughs> how do I describe it? The pistachio flavoring sticks out like a sore thumb in this, whereas usually the pistachio flavoring that I've had is very creamy and really like, is really good with it. First of all, the espresso is not great. I don't love the espresso that they used. I don't think that they used good quality oat milk because um, the oat milk tastes, it tastes kind of watery. And then the pistachio just doesn't like vibe with all of it. So I would rate this honestly like a six out of 10. 
Um, no hate to the bean bar. It's just, it's not that good. Okay, I thought it would be fun to do a little Marshall's run. My coffee in hand. I got a lot of stuff. So let's do a haul. There's this man who's in his car beside me, so he's probably like, oh my God, what is this freak doing? But whatever. I got these shoes, you guys. These are so cute. They're gonna be perfect for summer too because I have a pair of loafers that I love. Um, but they're like winter loafers and they're a little too big for me. I have to wear like thick socks with them to make them stay on. So these are perfect and they're Dolce Vita and they were $25. They had another really cute pair of sandals in there, but I was like, girl, you don't need another pair of sandals. Like you just really don't. And then I really didn't get much like, well, I was going to say I really didn't get much. I have been seeing these like hot tools go around everywhere where they basically can give you like a blowout with a brush and I really wanted to try it because you guys know my Dyson air wrap struggles like it just doesn't stay on my hair I feel like I end up wasting like 20 minutes of time for a blowout that last two minutes so I'm gonna try that probably today my hair does look kind of dirty but it's really not this is just like how I put it up when I go to hot yoga and then I have needed a car tripod forever I used to have one that went in my air vent and it like broke and I haven't gotten a good one since then so I picked up one from here for like $12 um I got a shirt this is from House of Harlow which I find I've never I don't know where this brand originated from or if it's like a TJ Maxx brand but it's one of my favorite brands that I see at TJ Maxx like they have really cute earrings and um, really cute clothes but I got this shirt. We're going to Mexico in a few weeks, and I just thought this would be really cute. I, it's, like, really hard to show. <laughs> like this. Like this goes around here, and this goes here, essentially. You guys know what I've been seeing all over TikTok that is just trying to influence me is like getting your colors done and I was looking it up because I was just curious like how much it costs etc and first of all it's like $300 and I just I don't think it would change anything for me like in regards to what I wear like even if they told me that I needed to wear silver jewelry I wouldn't wear silver jewelry um or if they told me that like orange was not my color palette I'd be like no, I'm still going to wear it. So while I find it to be so interesting, I probably won't do it because I don't think it would change the concept of my life. Um, but it's super cool. I also just picked up some um, hair clips. I always lose my hair clips, so it's like perfect to get them from there. They're super cheap. Um, and then I just, I always pick up dog toys from Marshalls because my dogs run through toys in like two seconds in general. So when I can, when I go to Marshall's, I always just stock up on some because they're so cheap. They're like $5 versus Petco. They're like $15. So that's the haul. I don't know what I'm gonna do next. I should probably go home. I told myself I was gonna work on our taxes today. So unfortunately that is something that I do foresee myself doing, but I don't want to do it. All right, you guys, the time has come for me to sit down and do my taxes. It's several hours later from when I talked to you guys. Um, I came home and um, we ate some acai bowls that my husband and his friend picked up. And we took the dogs for a W-A-L-K. And then I sat down and um, balanced my accounts for the month of January and the month of February. I usually try to sit down and balance my accounts once a week, but we've just been traveling a lot, so I haven't had time. Um, but I love it when I do it because it makes me feel so accomplished. Um, I just like to know where my money goes. I have investments. I like to like be investing my money, be saving my money, just like be working towards the future. And it like it feels good to know that the money that I make, like I'm putting to good use, like I'm spending it on things that I spending it on things that I like, or I'm saving it up for things that I want. Um, for instance, I just paid off our Mexico trip that we booked two weeks ago. So it just feels good knowing that like what I'm doing, like working as a nurse practitioner, social media, obviously like all the time that I put into stuff lets me go on these nice trips and I'm really thankful for that. So definitely like social media really supplements our income and really allows us to do nice things. So 
that's all thanks to you guys so thank you guys so much for like watching my stuff and being interested because it really does fill my cup up and i really appreciate that so yeah anyway next up is taxes taxes is something that i have literally been putting off the entire month of january and now half of february i always give myself like um on the new year just i'm like i'm not doing my taxes in january just don't think about it and then in february i have to sit down and start doing them so it is a very long process for me because not only do i have our regular jobs but then i have to do all of my social media stuff which is so overwhelming i need a cpa um but the only time i ever think of getting a cpa is at this time of year and i feel like it takes more time for me to sit down and find a good one and to like get all of my stuff together and bring it to them rather than me just doing it myself so time to start doing the taxes it's 2 30 i'm hoping to at least wrap a lot of this stuff up in like an hour because i need to go grocery shopping today little grocery haul i just got back from publix hey bubba this week I picked out three main meals that I'm making, which is something that I do every week. I usually pick out three to four main meals, but we have it, our in-laws are coming into town at the end of this week, so I figured we'll probably go out once. So yeah, and that's how I like buy my groceries around those three main meals. And then I always use like the dinner leftover for lunch the next day, if that makes sense. So this week my meals are ramen, tikka masala, and what was the other one? Oh, and a, a gnocchi soup so yeah it's super easy like highly recommend that and it's not that way you're not like meal planning you're just like dinner planning and you always make enough to have leftovers so I got two onions I got these mush um oatmeals I don't know Seth eats them I do not I really like these silk Greek yogurts they have 10 grams of protein in them and they're really like thick and creamy so a lot of times I'll eat these for breakfast got some shredded carrots celery spinach if you have a Publix near you I'm not sure where else they sell these maybe Target but these unreal little treats I always have one of these at night before bed these are like good healthy snacks to just pack in my lunch box i've been craving matcha recently so i think i'm gonna get back on my matcha train not instead of coffee but just like an extra if i wanted it got one thing of tofu gnocchi non bread these chicken this chicken is for my dogs and then i got two cans of coconut milk um, one is coconut cream and the other is coconut milk because that's what the recipe calls for some vegan mozzarella cheese fig bars we have this mother kombucha brand in um, florida i think it's homemade in saint pete i want to say yeah and it's really good so i just grabbed one of those grabbed a mountain valley sparkling water i've been using this with um one of these at night these are like magnesium and adaptogens and i really like it tater tots i am a tater tot stan <laughs> these are the dog bones that we get some ramen noodles, eggs. I put eggs in the dog's food every night. I just crack an egg open over it. It's really good for their coat. Um, I just found this Oatly oat milk, which I'm super excited about because it only has three ingredients. Um, I guess maybe four. Water, oats, sea salt, and citrus fiber. So this is my favorite oat, oat milk brand. It's just unbeatable. I always stock up on these the best um, marinara sauce and then I did not have any of these this past week so I just grabbed some corn, to corn tostadas sometimes I just snack on those I got some Honeycrisp apples and then of course we got a bunch of poppy I'm just gonna put it all away I think I'm gonna make the tikka masala for dinner tonight because that just sounds really good I am no Nara Smith but I do love Indian food and I love myself a good easy recipe first I started off with my tofu seasoning which was just about three tablespoons of olive oil and some garam masala I put that in the air fryer on 400 degrees and heated it up for 25 minutes then I cut up a half an onion, about one tablespoon of fresh ginger and four garlic cloves and let those soften on medium high heat. I then added one 14 ounce can of chopped tomatoes and about one tablespoon of tomato paste. Next, I added one can of coconut cream, some seasoning and some chopped spinach. And because tikka masala absolutely must be accompanied with naan, I threw some olive oil and garlic on some fresh naan and threw it in the oven. The final product was soaked. Good morning, you guys. Happy Tuesday. I'm headed to work. I'm in a school zone right now, so I'm like basically stopped, but I did my hair this morning with my hot tools and I think it turned out really cute. You know what I need is layers in my hair. Um, I'm so overdue for a haircut. I used to have layers, but they have all grown out. So 
yeah but this is the hair hopefully you guys can see the sun is shining like to right on me which i'm not complaining about it it's beautiful but um i love it so headed to work hoping for a good day hoping for a good week <laughs> my in-laws are coming tomorrow and my husband's friend is um still staying at our house so i've got some stuff i gotta do tonight like wash sheets and stuff like that but you're not probably going to see any clips of me or like see anything else from me until the end of the day because I'm filming a full day in my life for TikTok and I want to do a voiceover just about like what I do in a day just a little update there so um yeah we'll check in tonight but you guys it is much 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 later I think it's nine. Oh my gosh it's 9 37 right now I'm about to climb into bed and do a little bit of reading but I just wrapped up filming a um, brand that I'm working with on TikTok. The brand is called Recess and I have been absolutely obsessed with their Gradient Berry Magnesium Blend. I just mix it with a little bit of sparkling water at night. It tastes so good. Like, I love it. Um, I've been mixing it with Mountain Valley sparkling water and it's just chef's kiss and I feel like it's a part of my evening routine now. So I might have a code with them that I can put like in the description box if you guys want 